What's up, y'all? This is the Curious One, and uh, I'm gonna do a Comic Skate unboxing. <clears throat> I got these two packages in yesterday, but I haven't had a chance to open them yet. Uh, here I got one from uh, Joey Turnage, and as you can see, I've done business with him before. I have Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Something Real. Uh, the price point on it is very good. Uh, it came in very timely fashion, a lot faster than a lot of other books. Uh, Joey is a, well I guess you can't really call him an amateur because he is making money doing it. So um, I would say a beginner. So it's good to, uh, to help him out and uh, help him get a start and hopefully see what happens in the future. I hope uh, him and his crew have a, have a really good future ahead of them. Uh, this one here is from Ben over at Cautionary Comics. Now this one I ordered like one million years ago and it finally came in. Um, <clears throat> I know that they've had a lot of, uh, they've had some issues getting funded. Um, the price point was really low. I think I, I went in on like the lowest tier, which was like $8 plus shipping. Um, a lot of their tiers were, were the prices were kind of low. So that was probably a big part in why it's taken so long. Um, because in order to get enough money to be able to fulfill, you know, it's just at $8 a pop, that's going to take you a long time. You know what I mean? I, and plus he's got a lot of other things on his plate that he's taken care of. He actually helped, uh, Mike S. Miller when the, uh, USO kind of did him not well, uh, Ben had Mike ship him, ship all of the 3,000 comic books to his, uh, to his warehouse. And then from there, he chopped them up and sent them off to other places. So that was really good. Um, ben is a really nice guy. And like how much money I had invested in it, I can't really complain too much about how long it has taken. And then when you add that to all the things that he's had to kind of go through in order to fulfill. It's understandable. Um, but I guess let's, uh, let's not ramble too much and get this cracked open. I'm going to use my, um, Ken onions designed pocket knife. I've had this for ever. I've actually destroyed the blade and then been able to bring it back to life again. It's not an auto, but, you wouldn't be able to guess it uh, operates so smoothly and like I said I have destroyed this blade before cutting things that I should not have the the blade actually looked like a shark's mouth but I've gotten it gotten it back to life and you could circumcise a gnat with this thing it's so sharp <clears throat> can't remember exactly what it's called but it is a Ken Onion design and it's by CRKT. But I'm gonna cut this bag open off of uh, camera because I don't wanna damage anything. Oh, and I forgot to mention, as you can see this nice big sticker that says, uh, handle with care, do not bend, thank you. Uh, yeah, the post office guy, he doesn't really care about that. He, uh, folds it up and sticks it in my little box. You know, the box about that big. He folds it right in half, puts it in there. Um, he did the same thing with, uh, Something Real the last time. The other two volumes actually did the exact same thing, but, uh, the first one survived pretty well. We'll see what happens with this one. Um, the way Joey packed it last time uh, it was able to protect it so let's see got a piece of cardboard on the front with a piece of tape here 
and a piece of cardboard on the back. And then, of course, you know, a nice uh, message on there for me. He did that on the other, on the last one as well. And this time, I can't exactly remember what I ordered. Oh, okay, I ordered the two pack, I guess, and it came with a uh, bookmark. I believe I already have. I believe I have the same one already from the last uh, from the last shipment, which also came with a. Um, sticker but i have that on uh i've already placed that on something so i won't show that to you right now but here are the two covers and everything looks good it survived the postman you see it's on a board in a bag i can't remember which one is the regular and which one is the variant I'll have to look at that. I'm going to guess that this is the regular and this is, I believe this is uh, Ian's variant. I believe. I'm just guessing though. And, for, and now for the uh, Ravage Kill All Men. Like I said, I believe I backed this one at the lowest tier as well. Um, but I don't really remember. So, packed his in a, in a, one of these mailers. And if you look, you can tell that it's been smushed pretty good, but these normally keep the books really well protected. I don't foresee any damages in here. Like I said, I don't really remember what I ordered, but I think I just got just a single copy. But it looks like I have two copies here. Nice. I think this is the one I... I believe this is the cover that I picked. And I think he may have thrown this one in as a bonus for the uh, time spent waiting. I can't remember exactly what was going on with it. <clears throat> and it, like I said, it's it's been a while, so I don't even remember what I paid for this, but I got two books and I know that the price point was very low because I hadn't, the second that um, I heard Ethan um, mentioned this book that it was having a little trouble getting um, getting funded I went over to the page and I looked at it and I was like oh crap that's easy you know what I mean I'll get one of those um, not to mention the fact that I actually looked at the story and I, I really like the idea it's basically um, like the island that Wonder Woman came from except for without Wonder Woman and Women don't really, they just use men for, for one thing and then they uh, discard them, we should we could say. But yeah, this is a, a, a new cover. I'm not exactly sure. Perhaps this is the one that was released into the, into retail. I'm not sure, but I believe I only ordered just the one book and I think this was thrown in as an extra. But it looks really nice. Um, there's no damage to the book. It's in perfect shape. They both came boarded and bagged, of course. I think all of the comic skaters have been doing that. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased. Maybe I'll uh, read these books later and do a review on them. I'm not really good with reviews, though. Uh, But perhaps. Uh, 
All right, I'm already at the 10 minute mark, so I'm gonna to try to make this quick. I just wanna thank um, Joey Turnage and the uh, Something Real crew for um, <clears throat> getting everything done and shipped to me and uh, in a timely fashion, very quickly. Everything looks good. Um, despite the postman trying to destroy it, everything came in good condition. Um, Oh, and the other thing is Joey sent sent me a um, tracking, gave me a tracking number so I could track the shipment and know where it's at. And that's something that not all comic skaters do. And uh, I really appreciate it because sometimes the postman does not give me a slip saying that I have a package in the office. And uh, the office will only hold a package for seven days. So if I don't realize that I have one in there, or if I don't check periodically, it'll get shipped back to you guys. And that, that'll be a big issue. And to um, Chuck Dixon and Ben Henderson and uh, the whole Cautionary Comics uh, team, thank you guys for um, everything that you do for, for comics gate, Ben, I know, I know you've done a lot of things, uh, to help comics gate as a whole. And, uh, that's extremely appreciated. I'm sure I could say that for almost everybody in comics gate, I think, um, appreciates the things that you, you have done for the community. Um, unless they just don't know about it. I mean, anybody that knows the things that you've done for the community, would have to be greatly appreciative of it. Um, thanks for getting everything in a, uh, everything came to me in a perfect condition. And I appreciate that. Um, like I said, I believe this is an extra that was just thrown in. So that is amazing as well. Not sure what else to say. I'm already up to 12 minutes, so I'm just going to say peace out. Y'all have a good night and uh, stay out of trouble.